Tennessee up here in New Hampshire. Today we're going to continue our review of the M&P 22 pistol. I did a brief tabletop review of this uh, about a week ago and today we're going to shoot it. Still got a lot of snow up here in New Hampshire and so I'm kind of uh, <laughs> doing the best I can to move around. So we're not going to be doing a lot of dynamic movement today but we will be doing some standard drills to check out the M&P 22 and get a sense for how it performs from an accuracy standpoint and also from uh, just a couple of different types of ammo. First drill we're going to do, we're at uh, seven yards, got some small targets out there. We're going to present the gun, fire a couple of rounds and just work on trigger control and uh, see what it looks like. So that's our group there. Again, I haven't shot this pistol very much, seven yards away, using some CCI standard velocity ammunition. But the bulk of our group is uh, right in here. So I'm getting used to the trigger. Don't believe that has anything to do with the gun. Has to do with me just getting comfortable with it. Not sure, have not played with the sight, so don't know about sight adjustment. We may, we may tweak that and move it a little bit so point of impact is going to be a little bit farther to the right than it is right now. Let's try another mag and see what it looks like. So we're going to try uh, another string with our CCI standard velocity ammunition. A lot of snow up here. And I'm much happier with that group. Again, I think I'm getting used to the trigger. That's pretty much right in there. We'll take a look at that in just a second here. So there's our second group there, the second circle on the right there. We've got a nice, uh, you know, maybe inch to inch on the outside. Um, so right in there, again, firing a little bit more, getting a little more comfortable. Uh, pretty happy with that, uh, with the trigger. I'm gonna fast fire um, a few rounds, uh, give you a perspective on that. Again, it's really nice to shoot this gun because it's a very low recoiling, soft shooting gun, which is a great trainer for folks just new to shooting. So now what we have is we have our uh, some Remington Golden Bullet, I guess is what it is. Check out this ammo. Man, that's easy. So, two different types of ammo so far, and it seems to be fu uh, functioning fine with it. We've got a little plate out there that, uh, I don't know, five, six yards away, a uh, little four inch uh, steel plate, which we're just plinking at. And uh, I'll tell you, it's real easy to get good hits with this gun. So now what I have is a combination of um, trying to set up a malfunction here. I've got a couple of different types of ammo here. I've got some standard CCI, standard velocity CCI, as well as some uh, champion ammunition, high velocity ammunition, and I've just loaded them in a batch. We're gonna shoot it, see if we can uh, create a malfunction with the gun. Let's go. No issue whatsoever. So combination of different types of ammo, we saw the feeding of it, no problem, able to get good hits right where we run them in that center mass area. Pretty impressed so far with this gun. Well folks, 
folks, there you have it. That's the M&P 22 pistol. In my opinion, based on the shooting I've done, and I fired a little over 150 rounds so far, I'm really impressed. What I like about it is you're developing muscle memory and the same skills that you would use with your full-size gun with a 22, which feels to be the same size. Everything is the same. Your slide release, uh, safety if you have one. And uh, again, from my standpoint, practicing this on a 22 is a great way to go. The other thing, of course, is advantage is if you're working on presentations from the holster, being able to you know, practice that uh, with a cartridge that is far less expensive, you know, six cents a round versus 30 cents a round uh, with the nine millimeter right now, that's a, that's a great consideration for you. So in my opinion, I'm really happy with this. I'm actually <laughs> surprised. I was not expecting to like the gun as much as I did um, and do. Uh, actually, I have, uh, and I'm planning to use these, I've got some uh, training classes that we'll be doing uh, with women and firearms um, that I'm, I'm hosting and sponsoring. And so uh, this gun and uh, its partner will actually be used as part of our training with these, uh, with these women that are joining us for this session. I think this will allow them the ability to learn how to run a gun, especially a semi-automatic pistol in terms of loading, unloading, uh, malfunctions, clearance drills, those kinds of things, while shooting a caliber that is really soft shooting and certainly doesn't intimidate folks the same way, say, a uh, 9 maybe or a uh, 40 or a 45. So from a trainer standpoint, um, that's something really important to me. If you like this video or any of the other videos that we're producing, I'd ask that you click the little uh, like icon, which is thumbs up, in the bottom left corner of the screen that you're, you're looking at. And uh, also feel free to share any comments or ideas or feedback that you might have. We really appreciate all the support we've gotten from you and our other subscribers, and we just uh, like to thank you. Uh, as we do every video, but I, I cannot uh, thank you enough for all your support and uh, just watching these videos over the last couple of years. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, stay safe.